Hello everybody, this is me, Super Monix and Jaya, and welcome to an unboxing of the Super Mario balancing game, Castle Stage. Um, if you don't know what this is, it's sort of just like a little balancing game um, where you have to play so, uh, a certain amount of figures on a, on, a little, on a little balancing board, and whoever and who's, whoever's turn it is on, um, if the, the if the figurines fall or some other stage collapses. Um, they lose. So yeah, it's it's a neat little game, a uh, nice little concept. Um, I just love it because it includes some amazing, well done figurines. If you don't know what I'm, if you don't know what I'm talking about, check out my um, other unboxing of the um, Super Mario Underwater. Um, I I forgot what it was called, but it was some, something with with underwater in it. Um, because yeah, cause these are some very awesome. Figurines, if I do say so myself, very well done, painted, sculpted, and all that jazz. And uh, yeah, so in this we have it is obviously based off of like the, a castle stage or level. Um, it does seem to come with a a little dice, and not a spinner like the last one. Um, we have Fire Mario, Hammer Bull, Boo, and Princess Peach. Um, in my previous unboxing, we had. Uh, Jumping Mario, um, these two cheap cheaps, um, and then two bloopers that I didn't didn't really bother bringing with me, mostly because of the stand. You know, um, the stand is fine, but sometimes it could get loose and the figure just falls or the stand just comes off the figurine. So yeah, I don't want to deal with that. Um, but yeah, so here was the box. You can sort of see a little bit. Um, at the top, we have the logo with with, uh, with also more pictures of the figurines. And up close, we have what, what we get. So obviously, you have the nice little stage. You have the figurines, the dice. There's the bottom. And on the back, you just have some more information. Um, other playsets too. Hopefully, I can... Uh, you might be able to see it. Um, so yeah, so, this, so these are some other play sets. Uh, let me see what they are. Um, oh, they don't really describe them. Pretty. <laughs> they just show you what other stages you can have. More fun. Yada yada. Um, I got it. I got it for like twelve ninety nine euros, or maybe it was thirteen ninety nine euros. I don't know, but it, I pretty. I'm pretty sure it came out to like fifteen U S dollars. Um, so yeah. And another thing too is that I am not going to be caring too much about the bots, so yeah. <laughs> oh well. Anyways, um, the bot is pretty simple. Um, the background is sort of like this castle. Yeah, it is a castle stage from New Super Mario Bros. Wii U or what, whatever game you want to you want to call it from. Um, I thought it was the Boo House at first, but nope, it is a castle themed uh, stage in the background. So so that's pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's just get this bad boy opened. Um, yeah, at first, I, I was trying to, like, care about the the packaging, but I threw away the, 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 the underwater one, so I just stopped giving a damn. <laughs> Oh, oh god, oh no, I accidentally cut open the, uh-oh, oh no. <laughs> oh man, did that suck. I accidentally cut the paper, no. Oh, that sucks, that, that's really, really bad for me. <laughs> Oh, well, hopefully I can try to figure it out. Um, I did keep the, the instructions from the last one uh, because it is a game. Um, there's the background. Uh, just probably just put it back there. Um, oh, Fire Mario popped out. <laughs> That's funny. Um, so there it is. There's the figure. There, the, oh, there they are outside of the box. Um, let me see if I can... <laughs> 
try to make out what this says because I really did do a number on this um, on these instructions so there you go that that's what happened <laughs> oh boy um so yeah and it starts too because there's also a little uh, what is this Yep, oh uh, man, is that, that sucks. Well, I'm never doing that again. Um, so here's how you construct, I guess, the uh, the stage. Pretty cool. Um, there you can sort of see the actions of playing the game. You all the dice, you put the number on it. And if all the figurines are on the balancing board, then at, the, at that point, you all the dice and Whatever number you get, that's how many you have to take off. So, yeah. It's sort of just like a, a repeat cycle until someone loses. The back here um, at the top, you can sort of see um, three separate um, stages. And then, you can, and then you'll be able to connect all of them into one big old stage, which is pretty cool. And then, and then at the bottom, you have more of the sets that you can get. So obviously you have like the balancing stage or a single stage. Um, I don't know what this is. Pull on a plant escape. I'll have to see what that one is. And then you also have shaky tile, which I have seen um, numerous times. So I might, I might pick that up one day. But yeah, that was that. Um, and then here are just the instruction instructions. I'm not gonna go over them too much, just because um, <laughs> the the pieces of paper are ripped. Um, but yeah, anyways, let me take these um, pieces off. Um, Fire Mario did come off on his own. There was the balancing um, stage. Oh, th there goes the dice. I got Boo out, now it's time to get Camera Boo out. Oh, there we go. Alright. So awesome. So, here we have the figurines. Uh, I'm going to show them off one by one. Um, I might as well just show the dice off just because it's basic. So here you have one, two, um, zero. It's sort, of, sort of this gray color dice with a black number one. A pink number two and then a yellow zero. So yeah. Um it's a lot different than the spinner though, so that's kind of interesting. Um I don't know why they did that, you know. They sort of give you like two separate ways to I guess get a number. So, so that's real. Um anyways, here is Fire Mario. Um I will say I do love this figurine. Um like, the paint job on here is very, very well done. I love it. This is why I love these sets so much, or the balancing games, because um, the company who makes these, I don't know, who does make them? Let me see. Um, Epoch. I don't know. It, it, it's something... I think it's that company, maybe. But they, they go hard on these figurines. I tell you what. Like, my God. Look at that. That is awesome. Not really a bad paint job. I, I, I have seen some of them with bad paint jobs. <coughs> Sorry, guys. I had to cough there for a minute. Uh, but, yeah. Um, not, not really, I haven't really seen that many bad paint jobs, so, yeah. There is some, there is sort of a consistency with these figurines, and I do love them. So, there's Fire Mario. There is Princess Peach. She has a little stand. I wonder if the stand can move. Nope, stand cannot move. It's sort of just stuck. Um, but yeah, there's Princess Peach. Awesome. Details are, f are amazing. Paint job is amazing. And, uh, yeah. Next up here we have is Boo. 
Um, I, I basically I don't um not really too much to you know say. Um, he does he does sort of have a stand with them almost like the cheap cheeps, and I will say I don't know why they didn't do this with the bloopo. Um, because the bloopers have their own separate. Oh, I dropped it. The bloopers have their own separate stands that you have to connect them to. I don't know why they just didn't give them their like their own stand. Like Boo here, for example. Uh, but yeah, pretty cool. And then last but not least, we here we have the Hammer Brother. Um, probably the most detailed one out of them all because of how many they have to to deal with. So yeah. Oh, got him! I keep dropping them. But uh, yeah, once again, paint job is excellent. Details are amazing. Um, yeah, these really are just. You really just want to buy these for the figurines. That's all I'm gonna have to say. So yeah. <coughs> Sorry guys, it's just my throat. You know, I have been dealing with the sickness over these past few weeks. I'm getting better, but you know the cough seems to be lingering on. So yeah. But yeah, that is all the figurines that we get in this set. Um, Fire Mario, Peach, Boo, and Hammer Brother. And now it is time to see if, if I can sort of do something with them on this balancing stage. Um, so we're going to do Mario over here. Princess Peach over here. So it, it's balancing just a little bit. Um, I guess I could do Hammer Brother over here. And then Boo right there. Um, so, yeah, so they sort of stand just a little bit. Um, oh, it actually, it, it's actually balancing very well. I haven't dropped them. Uh, but, but just to show you guys what it does, um, let me take these off. So you take this dice or spinner if you have it. Um, so let's say, okay, so I will, uh, excuse me, I, I roll a one and I take whatever figure I suppose and so let's just say I'm going to put Fire Mario on here. Uh, I'll put him on the top. And the next person goes. So, um, they, they rolled a two. So now they have to take two figures and balance them. So I'll put him above right there and Princess Peach right there. Um, and so we just keep going. So another dice. One. Oh. I almost lost my dice. <laughs> so I'll just take Boo here and put it at the top. And oh no, they, they, the figurines fell, so therefore I lose, you know. So it, it's a nice little game. And like I said earlier, if you have all of the figurines on the balancing stage, um, at that point you just keep warning the dice or the spinner to see how many you have to take off. So yeah, nice little concept. Uh, let me see how this... Um, Connect the stages well because I am I am curious about this though. So they sort of seem to have like these entrance points. Um, wait, is that really it? That was easy. Oh no, <laughs> I accidentally a piece fell off. That sucks. Um, but yeah, let me try this again. So I guess I guess I guess that's how it works, and at that point you sort of just play the game like how you're supposed to. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm just trying at this point, guys. So just hang with me. Um, honestly, I'm not really not I'm not really seeing any anything balance. But I guess that's how you do it. Um, they are supposed to be balancing though, so I don't know what that's about. Um, I I I'll have to look more into it. Um, like I said, this is my first time like I've ever really dealt with these before. Um, so yeah, um, I'll I'll know more about them off screen, and the next time I do an unboxing, I should get a, I should know the like how to actually play the game. So yeah. <clears throat> um, I might as well just do like like some comparisons real quick. Um, so here's Jumping Mario and Fire Mario. 
pretty cool. Um, I just put them back on here. Um, I guess we'll do like hammer bow and cheap cheap. And yeah, and I think that's really mostly it. Um, and I'll just bring up Boo and Princess Peach one time just so you can get a good look at them. And uh, yeah, if we can find these in the US, um, I would pretty I would pretty much pick them up. These are some fantastic figurines, and it is a nice little game. Um, and uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for this episode. Uh, for uh, not this episode, for this unboxing, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I really am loving these um, balancing games. I do wish the <coughs> sorry. I do wish that the castle stage was a little bit like the the underwater. Uh, deluxe set, I guess that, I, if I remember that's what it was called. Uh, because the backgrounds do make it interesting. Uh, but this is just a symbol of a stage. So, yeah. I'm also, like, it's 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 very small, you know. For the, for the figurines to fit on, you know. Like, you, you basically have to, like, squish them. Um, but, yeah. But other, other than that, um, I will say I do love these um, sets. And I hope to pick some more up in the future. Um, because, like I said, the figurines are worth it. So, yeah. If you, if you enjoyed this unboxing, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. And let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Anyways, that's it for me. This is Simplemonic19J, signing out.